Boketov Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun with Israeli News Live. We have very serious news. RT News has reported here that uh, hopefully no nukes will be needed. They're quoting President Putin against ISIS uh, as he has made this statement here publicly. Uh, that is a very somber warning, not only to ISIS, but all those that have collaborated with ISIS, including Turkey, the United States, other groups, uh, European Union member states that have helped to facilitate getting the arms there. Putin puts all these people in the same uh, group and category, no doubt. It has been clear in all of the statements that he has made publicly for the last year or so where he has gone on air to make that claim that those that have armed and created ISIS for one was the United States. Secondly, in the more recent skirmishes there in the Middle East, the downing of the Su-24 Russian bomber by, the Tur by Turkey, Putin made it clear that Turkey was the ones arming ISIS and helping to smuggle the oil out of Syria illegally. Uh, of course, he knows the United States has turned a blind eye. We already see that Putin is there to back up Basra al-Assad. And of course, yesterday, Assad is claiming that it has been the U.S. coalition that bombed his military base. Well, that's another an aggre aggression, a direct aggression and act of war against the, uh, the President uh, Basra al-Assad of Syria. And Russia is there to back him up. Will, the, will Russia uh, retaliate in this type of manner? Well, when any time Russia has ever talked about using nuclear warheads on his missiles there, he is definitely speaking directly to the United States uh, and the NATO coalition because he realizes he can't win an all-out offensive against them. So his only option is, is to strike first using nuclear power as that deterrent to push them back. Now, let me take you right to his statements here because they're very provocative to say the least here. The photo here that you see here is the one they used in the article of, of President Putin. Uh, but it states here, Vladimir Putin has praised the Russian cruise missiles fired against terrorists in Syria from the sea. He expressed hope these weapons would not have to be armed with nuclear warheads. Uh, it was uh, stating here, meeting in the Kremlin with Defense Minister Sergei uh, uh, Soylu, who reported the latest results of the anti-Islamic state ops in Syria, the Russian president made a notable remark. He states, and I quote, We must analyze everything happening on the battlefield, how the weapons operates, the calibers. Uh, and KH-101, which is the airborne cruise missiles, have proven to be modern and, e and highly effective. And now we know it for sure. Precision weapons that can be equipped with both conventional and special warheads, which are nuclear, Putin said. Naturally, this is not necessary when fighting terrorists, and I hope will never be needed, the president added. On Tuesday, a Russian kilo-class submarine, the Rostov Undon, fired caliber uh, PL cruise missiles against an ISIS installation near the terrorist stronghold in Raqqa. Water-to-surface cruise missiles were launched from the submerged sub in the Mediterranean Sea, according to the Russian defense minister. We've been registering the missiles launch flights and, uh, and of course, they're hitting targets, Soigo said. We have warned our Israeli and American colleagues about these launches. Caliber and KH-101 cruise missiles have been deployed for the first time this year in Russia, counter-terrorist operation in Syria. Now, the one thing that I, I see myself in what's happening here is that Russia is taking advantage of practicing with every different types of weapons that they have in this particular theater of war in order to see what has the best results, making sure that their people are trained and that everything is working according to plan because Russia very evidently knows that they are headed to war with the United States and, of course, NATO, what states that may join into this battle. He has warned uh, Sweden not to enter into the battle. Sweden has remained neutral thus far. They probably will stay this way. Israel, he's already spoken to Prime Minister Netanyahu, who has also vowed to stay out of any war between the United States and Russia. 
And as we say here, this is becoming a very, very serious situation uh, indeed here in the Middle East. And I might uh, bring out this information to you as well. Putin has spoke about special nuclear warheads that can be used that are not as devastating as a full-blown intercontinental ballistic missile nuclear warhead. And I found that interesting. I still need to get Brother Gary Lowry on the news here with us. Brother Gary had mentioned this to me sometime back in one of the visions that God had given him that there would actually be used a, a special bomb. Now, I believe Gary was looking at this being done by Israel, but it was a special bomb that has a nuclear warhead tip that would be used against Iran on their nuclear, on their, uh, nuclear uh, facilities that they have there. But he said it's not a full-blown nuclear warhead. That's exactly what we're looking at in this particular case here. Russia has limited nuclear warhead tips that can cause maximum damage, but in a much smaller scale than a full-blown nuclear warhead. But when it comes to the United States, whether or not uh, Putin would use a larger scale or the smaller version, it's hard to say. But it's clear evidence that the, that the president has definitely ha has all of his options laid out on the table. No doubt these submarines, even though they may be a kilo class uh, uh, diesel ran submarines, all these submarines must undoubtedly have these type nuclear tips there at their disposal to be able to change them out at a moment's notice. Uh, President Putin is certainly ready for the battle. He is preparing and he is letting the world know he is able to and is willing to if the need does arise. We are certainly sitting on the edge of our seats. Join us later tonight. Uh, as far as in the Israeli time, it'll be uh, tonight at 10.30 p.m. And as far as Eastern time, 3.30 p.m., we will be live on live stream bringing you the latest prophetic updates of these particular events that are going on. I'm Stephen Benoon. You've been watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good day.